How was the second day on the job? It was great! I killed an innocent man! Imagine if I was the Grim Reaper and it was my job to judge you. Actually, I think you all will be fine because I'm probably way worse than all of you. But today, I'm gonna act like my crap don't stink. Today I'm gonna be the most judgmental version of myself. This is death and taxes. Fate. The keeper of world order. Oh, am, am I gonna do some voodoo and become the Grim Reaper? I think I am. This is me. I'm sighing, walking like the Beatles across the street. I do that every day. Waiting in line, going, oh, look at me. I'm just a normal person. I'm just a pleb. Someone taps on my shoulder. Who dat? I don't like being bothered at the grocery store. He must have tapped my shoulder and said some really offensive things to my face because I'm doing spells now. Oh, you know I'm doing spells. I'm putting skulls in the blood. And here we are. This is me. I'm gonna begin my bureaucratic afterlife. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Oh, so I'm guessing the old Grim Reaper like needs a break? Like he's been working way too hard, so I'm taking over? I am honored to welcome you into our world. Oh, thank you. I'm so inviting. Spawn number four, eight. There's been 48 before me? What are you doing with all the other Grim Reapers? I'm gonna act cool. Pleasure to meet you. I've been here before. Oh, a polite Grim Reaper for a change. Oh, you think I'm polite, but wait till you see me in a few minutes. Your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Uh oh Pretty standard stuff. It's not that standard, but okay, I'm in. Do not destroy the world, yes? So I can either say, wait, I have to kill people? I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss, or will I get paid for this? All right, since I'm already tapping into my evil, I'm gonna be like, yo, will I get paid for this? Every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Wait, so I'm death, but I'm getting judged by a boss death? Your actions will have consequences. My actions have consequences, so I'm judged, and I'm judging, and I'm getting judged by a judge. All right, I was born to do this, let me in. This will be your seven day evaluation. Oh no, I'm an intern? All right, so I have one week to perform better than I've ever performed, and then I'm gonna get assessed at the end for how good I am at being deaf. Here we go. Melissa S. McGill, 33, I'm a special agent. This agent for the Bureau of Agricultural Espionage has always wanted to be a bodyguard for the president as they have extensive experience in safeguarding the well-being of crops and other flora. They even once played double agent for two contesting potato magnets. She seems pretty straight and narrow. Let her live. Oops, I'm gonna write a little note to my boss. What about this girl? She's a 29-year-old professional athlete. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In their spare time, they like going hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's determination and wishes to continue in their footsteps. Wow, well that's really wholesome too. Oh, who am I supposed to kill here? Obviously, Liv. Oops. Oopsies. Oh, I need to stop writing all over this. Okay, so I'm just gonna like draw X's in her eyes to let you know. I'm trying my best here, but like these people seem nice. I'm confirming my choices. Oh geez, some people gotta die. I'm a life giver. This is my office? Long day of work over here. I legit don't have any money. Is it because I didn't kill anybody? Is this my boss? You need to give me more meat, buddy. I can't be doing this. You cannot let everybody live. Oh. All our choices have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. Shouldn't I have some power to foresee stuff? All right, I need to be more judgmental. All right, sorry, I messed up. We cannot undo this mistake. It's a mistake? What do you mean? The choices will only get harder from now on. Oh, jeez. Do not disappoint me. Okay. Uh, I made no money at all. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. One human with an info technology background has to die. Try to be careful. Okay. Hejima Kodia? It is said that Hejima comes up with ideas for new games, characters, and plot lines by meditating in the rain. Subsequently, each of their games seems to make less and less sense, yet still somehow getting better. This guy makes dank games. We're gonna let him live. Who's next? Kevin Mason. Kevin, born and raised at the McIntyre Air Base, loves the thrill of flying planes in tense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse and a seven-year-old child! Yikes! Okay, Toro, you gotta go, buddy. You're a pro gamer, you gotta go. Itoro started out playing competitive games they loved, believing in themselves when no one else did. Ah! They kept getting better, but life kept getting more difficult. Oh no. Itoro had a really good shot at making it until they got involved in an esports doping scandal. Okay, he cheated. Get him out of here. I feel so bad. Oh geez. All right, listen. 
you die. Get out of my life. Oh, that was a toughie. I need like a crystal ball or something because this is tough. How was the second day on the job? It was great. I killed an innocent man. It gladdens me to hear that. Thanks. I hope I get to kill more people. Huh? <laughs> you are to mark the profiles as requested. Oh. We are not here to cause wanton mayhem. I'm just trying to impress you. I think I killed the wrong guy, dude. Okay, I made 300 bucks. It's time to go see the shopkeep. These are just accessory for my face. Okay, that's it. I thought that they could help me. Get me out of here. Ah, uh, day three. Feeling good. Got my mask and everything. Ooh, you can squeak it. You, get out of here. Columba Hunter. Okay, so I've got four papers. I think two of them have to die. Columba is a distinguished war veteran. Oh, geez. These days, working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. Happily married, five children. Oh, no. Interested in the history of religious buildings. He sounds like a nice guy. Okay, you're lucky you're the first person I looked at because you're living. Yikes. Jerome K. Nelson. Jerome loves birds. He started an egg farm several decades ago, but when business was not going well, they had also decided to start selling meat, which is emotionally very hard for Jerome. They hold a little for funeral for every bird. Oh no, he's such a nice guy. Can I put him out of his misery? Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, we're gonna do it. Oh, jeez. I hope I find someone that is actually bad, then I'll definitely let you live. Anson loves to sin and is committed to performing all the four deadly sins daily. Oh, well, this is an easy one. They live in a cave outside the city avoiding law enforcement. Well, if they live in a cave, no one will notice. Leo. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and that time they worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Oh, that's actually a good thing. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo's taken many bribes. Oh, okay, listen, you gotta go. Where's that sweet little farmer? You're gonna live. Oops. No, no way back now. Uh-oh, are you an eraser? Please. Oh no, I just killed an innocent bird farmer. Oh geez, I killed a lot of people today. Oh geez, I can't, I don't have an eraser. Maybe I can buy an eraser at the store. Oh, I killed so many people. Oh! Listen, my boss is gonna be so mad. Boss, listen, I, I didn't mean to. I should have read them all before I. How do you feel? It's a bit confusing, sir. Let me take a look at the files you oh, sent. Oh, jeez, he's gonna be so mad at me. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of proof. The correct amount? I only spared, like, one dude. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Pay me. Oh, my goodness. This is so stressful. Here we go. Grim Reaper quarters. Oh, it's tough work in this corporate job. Oh, jeez, I've got more of these pennies on my desk. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It's been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Three humans have to die. Okay. I don't I don't have an eraser, so I gotta make really careful decisions. Oh no, he's unemployed. Okay, Haith, what's your story? Haith lived in a small village for a long time. After the death of their trusty dog, they moved to the big city to pursue the app scene. So far, they've made a ton of useless mobile apps, but perhaps app number 98 will be successful. Oh, he works so hard. Well, I gotta kill somebody. Actually, what does my phone say? Everyone survived a plane crash. The market will take care of things on its own. Oh, I, did I let this guy live? These are like the people that I killed. Daya paints nudes and nudes only. For some reason, these paintings don't sell very well and they've been playing around with the idea of pivoting into a life of sin. Oh, good. Thanks for making it easy for me, bud. Happy to help. Alicia is an absolute speed daemon. Daemon? Demon. They cruise at utterly ridiculous speeds all around. Well, since three people need to die and you're a speeder, out you go. Sorry about it. Jack has lived a great and kind life. They've been working in the local Beats and Brothers consultancy firm for seven years, ever since graduating college. They've been looking for a way to turn their life around in order to stop being an office drone. Oh, we gotta give him a chance. He lives. Ozian started off as a devotee of Anson, the initial sinner, but quickly grew belligerent and took off to demonstrate how actual proper sinning should be. Oh, well, look at you. I get to let my hardworking app develop who hasn't made a good app live. Perfect. Off we go. I think I did good at work today. Hi! Guess who? Let us be quick. What do you mean, let us be quick? This is my best day ever. Excellent work. Thank you. Although you made an error with my test note, such inattention is not commendable. What, what do you mean? I followed your instructions exactly. I didn't leave little drawings on the faces this time. Oh no, the cat's mad too. This guy's hard to please. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a food service background. Got it. Okay, so this guy's a barista, so we're gonna let him live. Oh no. This person loves nature and enjoys planning. I'm sorry, but you gotta die. Amarsha Vash, hesitant sinner. Amarsha was never really all that interested in sinning until the sudden violent death of Ocean. Now Amarsha has returned to the 
cosmopolis city. Okay, if you want some vengeance, here you go. Johnny repairs food for cooking, beverages for drinking, living for living. Here you go. Have fun in college, sweetie. Oh, this guy's a server. The wages keep rising. They're certain they can do great things with their arts degree when they get around to finishing it. You're a server right now, so that's good. A student. Oh no, a charismatic opinion leader among their peers. They use these characteristics to affect campaigns for things they think are right. These topics include reducing the plastic, banning beige shorts, and stopping any vaccinations. Well, see ya later. Have fun with that. Hello, sir. I did great today. If he doesn't give me really, really good reviews, I'm gonna be so mad. I see too many doomed profiles here. <gasps> I let all of the food service workers live, but I forgot that only two people need to die. Oh, jeez, no. You need to exercise more mm. caution. I'm the worst at this. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Well, you see, I feel awful about every choice, but I'm gonna say it's like any other job. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? But you hound out the rules and make me do the choices. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. Well, then don't ask me about the ethics of what I'm doing. We know what we are doing. Oh, so this was to get me to trust him. <sighs> Oh, I made no money even though I killed people? Yikes. Rest in peace. We're gonna follow the directions perfectly today. Six humans have to die. At least two humans age 60 or older have to die. Okay, I need to like put this right here. Any humans with an economy related profession have to die. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm guessing that this retired man, carpenter and veteran of long time military conflict. Oh, he has PTSD? Okay, we're gonna live you. I just realized that means that I can only spare one more person. Economy related. That's a farmer, right? Optometrist, bank teller, banker, project manager, tax collector. Okay, we're gonna kill the tax collector first so I can be less confused. Agnes does a thankless job collecting tax from businesses and individuals on behalf of the local government. They get yelled at every day. Oh, I'm so sorry that I've gotta kill you right now. My economy person is dead. Jackson just doesn't seem to get a break. They manage various projects, but all somehow failing. They used to be married, but nothing lasts forever. Their pet goldfish died in one day. Their bike always seems to have a flat tire. And this is just the be- Oh, their cow done moseyed off. Their dog stole their best hat. What do we do? Uh, six people have to die. Two humans age 60 or older have to die. Oh no, I didn't kill the older guy. No! No! <laughs> this guy had to have died. Can we kill him, please? No. Oh, I screwed up my work. Well, at least I'll kill the other guy. Man, I can't follow simple directions. Can you believe? Okay, this is a farmer, so that has to do with the economy. He's gonna die too. Optometrist. He loves gazing deep into the eyes of people. Well, it's your lucky day because you're living and you're gonna gaze in more eyes like a, the creep you are. And everyone else dies. Kim, living through bank robberies. You're gonna live through a bank robbery, but not this. Jackson doesn't seem to get a break. Hey, I agree, bud. Today's not your day. Rast, a widely celebrated economist? He definitely has to die. Oh man, I messed up. I messed up big, dude. Oh no. Please excuse me for a minute while I get yelled at by my boss. Any idea what happened? Beats me. It hardly matters. Oh, he didn't punish me. Oh, I'm gonna get punished so bad at the end of the game. Aw, oh, jeez. Okay, this time, I'm gonna be the queen of following directions. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. This person is an artist who has grown very popular in accordance with the current climate. Well, that seems to help, right? Okay, you're spared. All right, so the economy's in trouble right now, and even though this multi-level marketing pyramid scheme thing is bad, it's not helping, but she's making money. She's taking advantage of naive people, but it's helping the economy, but it's not helping people. Oh, geez, I don't, bleh, I don't know. Okay, this guy's just making rigged games. He's gonna die and everybody else is gonna live. See how it goes. I followed the rules today. I barely even paid attention to their profiles. Fewer people died than required. You said two! Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. Thank you. The office is proud to present you with an award of A word of, of excellence? excellence? Thank you for the creepy claps. Your seven day evaluation period has <gasps> concluded. Oh! You have passed. I passed! Let's go! The best newcomer. Presented to the Grim Reaper for the killing of many humans. Let's go. Any humans age 60 or older have to die. Okay, bang, pow. This guy does shady deals. Bop. Everybody else lives. Oh, this person has a lot of debts, but hey, you got time to pay him off. Have a nice life. An emergency has occurred, which requires my utmost attention. Where are you going? A physicist is about to push a cart of unusual and hazardous material into the beam of a spectrometer. So it's gonna have to kill people so I don't have to? While I am gone, another will be in charge. I don't want to meet my new boss. Three plants have to die. What do you mean? What? 
Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you're gonna live because, you know, you're a plant. We love you. You're all plants! A really large oak tree? It's, it's a home to a family of squirrels? All right, you gotta go. And by go, I mean live. All right, that means the rest of you plants are gonna die. You're a branch? A tangled branch? Get out of here. Nobody likes tumbleweeds. A Venus flytrap? I'm so sorry. It got stepped on by a horse, a dog, and two children? Well, I know it has good living conditions, but... It's gonna have to die. And same with you, Mr. Javibara Gobifera. It's a lot easier when it's plants, hey? I just wanna meet this new girl. It's a cat? Listen, I'm gonna kiss your butt. You're cute. The cat turns her head towards you, eyes blazing with annoyance. Oh, jeez. Hey, cat, I bought you a gift. The toy gives a loud, sad noise as you make your way out the door. What the? Michael has been a dedicated worker at the- Okay, Grim. Yes, you. Listen up! Why are you such a tool? Sitting at your desk going all the profiles like a mindless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to do all of the profiles today. All of them! Prove you're not completely useless. Huh? But my instructions say six people have to die. And there's eight. I can spare two. What are you, nuts? You're definitely gonna die for that. Organized crime. You're older than 60. That means you get to live. Look at you. Let's see what the cat has to say about this. He just stares at me. This is so hard and brutal. I've made a ton of money, but is it worth it? No. I just played this game to the end, so I just want to see what happens. Now, it turns out I've killed pretty much everybody, <laughs> and there was only one human. One human is not enough to save the species. Oh, jeez. Did I just end up killing everybody that I didn't kill in earlier rounds? I take it you were behind it all somehow? It is true. I do not love humanity. Okay. Not a bit. Well, you just maybe do your dirty work for you. Why, you ask? I didn't, but sure. I have Go ahead. grown tired of it all. This tedious existence. What are you, like the... I mean, you are the villain in a video game. Can I sign your paper too? I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop, but no one can leave until the job is done. If the great dying claimed them all. Oh, so you're lazy. I helped the great dying along. No, you just went on vacation while I did your dirty work. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. Oh, geez, I got a lot of achievements for that one. Mankind succumbing to its innate flaws. Society's falling. Oh, dear. I did this. Humanity wiped out by these little fingies. As you powerlessly wait to fade away. I think I did a bad thing. You did largely screw everything up. I did. <laughs> but I can offer a new cycle, a turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. No, I'll kill you. You're dead. See ya. I mean, I did get good at that. Adam David Bow, the one and only unparalleled master of melodies, sorcerer of rhythms, and grand vizier of harmonies who crafted all the amazing music for the whole game. Oh, well, you can live. Oh, I can sign everybody's papers who developed the game. Oh my goodness. Judging people is hard. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.